thing you you've been desiring is a an attainment. I don't know what it, but what it is. It's something you've been expecting to receive but for a couple of times now. It hasn't come. I declare and open the chains around that issue now is broken. The chains around that issue is broken. And whatever it has been your desire comes to you now. Comes to you now. In the name of Jesus.
speak on walking in Christ. Walking in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say walking in Christ. Walking in Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the book of Colossians, Are you in the book of Colossians? Colossians chapter 2. Colossians 2. And verse 6. It says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Rooted and built up and established in the fair as ye have been taught abounding daring with what? with thanksgiving That's hallelujah Amen. so as we have received Christ Jesus as we have received Christ, Christ Jesus how did we receive him? by hearing by being taught hallelujah Amen. 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 In the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews 11. From, and verse 1. Verse 1 says, Now faith is, are we there? Yes, sir. Let's go to my Bible. Since the what we get on. Praise God. Amen. That's why sometimes you have to come here. You always come here, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this is an electronic cafe. As it has well as that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, are you, are you at Hebrews 1? Yes. Let, me, let me go there too. Well, let's see. Are you at when? Hebrews 11, verse 1. All right. It said, now what? Faith is what? The substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Is evident. Ah, that was scale of fire. Now, is it? If this is the definition of faith, that means we have to understand it. Hmm? The next verse says, For by it the elders obtained. So, the elders obtained the good report. How? By faith. And we've taught and we said that the faith here is referring to what? The coming seed. The seed that shall come, and through it, through him, shall bring forward redemption, shall bring forth salvation. So the people believe that the righteousness is not of their own, but it's going to be by him that is to come. Praise God. So the elders, every one that believed, was inscripted into the gospel. Hello? So even Samson is into the gospel. Right? Because their faith, their righteousness was not of themselves. It was of him that was the God. So he that believed in the gospel. I Calabas. I hope you know that scriptures are not life giving. Jesus is the giver of life. 
Eh? Scriptures don't give life. It's Jesus that gives life. Scriptures were given for us to identify the, the life giver. Jesus said, you search the scripture, for in them you think you shall have eternal life. Said, but they are they that testify of me. So the scripture testifies of Christ who will give the life. Right. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So anyone that believes in him shall have life. So scriptures may point us. They were revelation of him that was to come. So every man that believed that there is a coming seed. Remember that believe in the good news. That gospel is, is the word good news. The good news is that you are not going to enter. Let me let you the word enter into heaven for us to understand. You are not going to make heaven by virtue of your works, but it's going to be by virtue of the works of him that is to come. Yes, sir. So salvation eh, was, was, was entrusted to a coming seed. So the only way you can be saved is to believe the gospel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Good. So we have men that believe in Christ. He had men like Abel who demonstrated his faith by offering a sacrifice unto God. And it pleased God. And it was accepted. Look what he says. By faith, Abel, verse 4, offered unto God what? A more, a more excellent sacrifice than gain. By which he obtained witness that he was what? Righteous. God testifying of his gift. For by it he being dead, yet what? Speaking. So he was the first man that demonstrated the sacrifice. Faith by killing a ram unto, unto God. Hallelujah. That's faith. Faith. So, this definition reveals that the coming of Christ was their faith. How do I make it? If Jesus did not come, eh, it wouldn't have been the substance of things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even say the word hope is not hoped for, it's hoped for. Hoped for. It is the substance of things. Substance is the reality. Substance is not spiritual. Substance is physical. Substance is physical. It is the substance of things that was hoped for. The evidence, the Evidence is something that is real. real. Yes, sir. Of what was not seen. Mm. Mm. No, 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 no. So when Jesus manifested, he was the faith of the elders. Uh, uh, uh. So the people could now see what the hell elders hoped for. Mm. They could now have they had the evidence of what was not seen. Yes, sir. So you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And we have to get this for us to proceed. Because this definition, as she put it in that way, is still applicable today. That is why we are walking in Christ. Yes, sir. The evidence. So when Jesus was born, Simeon could not say, my eye have now seen mm. yes, sir. Yes, the restoration of Israel, the consolation. Then I can now what was he saying? It means that all oh, what the fathers hoped for, what they believed, is now made a reality. Right. Right. Let's go to the place before we proceed. 
Luke chapter 1. of Israel and the Holy Ghost was upon him. So it's not defined here whether it was a priest. It's not defined. Okay. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see dead be before he has seen the lost Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. Eh? Now, what, what, he wasn't a priest there in the temple. Yes, sir. Hello? No, all this why because he was in the temple. He was a priest. He was a priest. He was a devout and just man. A man that was committed to the things of God. And if you look at the word devout, devout is always um, synonymous to prayers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he was a man that was always praying. Hallelujah. So, uh, okay, the next devote, maybe see another devote, you see the devote, like the Cornelius, uh, what do you call it? Cornelius. Cornelius, the man that, that was praying, he was a devote man, always praying, and what happened? The angel of the Lord uh, came to him and asked him to send for Peter. Is that what I'm saying? So, a devote man will therefore imply that he was a man of prayer. So, he must have been praying. Now, he was waiting. Now, he was waiting for the consolation of Israel. Means he was praying and hoping and waiting for the consolation of Israel, yes, which was what the revelation of Christ. I spoke to what I'm saying. Yes, then he was waiting for the consolation, and, and the Holy Ghost was what upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not sit there before what he has seen the Lord. And he came by the Spirit on this day. He was led by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy word salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people. A light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of that people Israel. Praise God. So, you see that the faith of the fathers was now seen. And The faith of the fathers was now seen. So now we will now rest. And if I was to talk about prayers, I will tell you that promises of God are prayable to be revealed. Is it about Israel that was in captivity? And God has said 70 years. And 70 years came and passed. And it was discovered by Daniel that they had passed the time. So what did he do? He began to pray. And interceded. Uh, listen, and upon his inter inter intercession, the revelation of Christ came. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Hi. 
he got into it by prayers. So let's go back to Hebrews. So when you say a man has faith, how do you know a man has faith? Is it by what he says? Even you, you know you have faith. Not because of what you say. Your faith is seen when it is revealed. Uh, uh, hello? Uh, do you have faith for laying hands on the sick for, for sick to be healed? Yes. You have the faith, right? Now, I will see the faith when the sick is healed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, he's a man of faith. Why? Because the sick was he, the dead was raised. If you are talking and the dead is not raised, you are not using your faith. Mm. Listen, listen, let's, then I know it is good to be spiritual. They will look at it spiritual. They will look at it physical. If you pray for the sick and they will not heal, that means your faith. His death on the cross 
was a fulfillment of scriptures. His resurrection was a fulfillment of scriptures. His bringing many sons into glory was a fulfillment of scriptures. Hallelujah. So now, let's proceed. Having established that faith in this scripture, in this verse, the scripture refers to Christ being made manifest. And by that hope, Abel offered. Verse 5. By faith also, Enoch was what? Was presented. What was the number saying? Was taken away. Was taken away. So by faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he had done what? He had the testimony that he had this God. Alright? So, by, listen, by the faith that the Son of God is coming. I don't have time to explain how the coming seed, what the promise of the coming seed was spoken to the ears of Adam and Eve when God spoke to the devil. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You get it? Yes, sir. So, the head. The gospel where God told the devil that the seed of the woman shall bruise your head. That's the gospel. So it was communicated to Abel. Abel believed it. The same it was it was it was that statement was a statue and the hope of man that we would that. What the devil had done shall be undone. Yes, sir. So, you know what I'm so it was it was like an anchor which made held onto. So when Enoch had it, he must have held onto it. You know, most of them at that time, I want to believe, it's my own personal view, that they were they followed it. Hoping to be the one that will break it. Uh, uh, Hoping to be the seed. Yes, so you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So they held on to it that they shall say that the seed of the woman shall prove the head of So they held on to that promise. So Enoch must have held on to it and aligned with God until he was not. Because he wasn't the one. Oh, so you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He held on to the coming sea. So he didn't just believe, he 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 identified himself with that truth. So he walked with God. He was translated. For before, for before his translation, it is recorded that he pleased God. Now, let's come to that. I know that every man that is in Christ has pleased God. Every man in Christ is pleasing to God. Yes, is the truth. But the goal here is not about union. The goal is about revelation. Hello? The purpose for redemption is not union alone. The purpose for redemption revelation and the only way revelation can be attained is union yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So having been united with the Father, you don't stop there. We attain unto what revelation. There is an advancement. Yes, we have pleased the Father by coming. You know, so the believer, you, know, you don't need to force something. No, no, the believer has already. Been, you are hundred percent correct. However, to walk with the Father is an exercise you must commit yourself to. We are united with Him. We should also walk in Him. Walking is not hoping. Walking is practical. Walking with him is not something God will come and do for him for you. It's something that you by the spirit of God will do. You must practice walking with him. realities that must be that is instituted in Christ that whether you believe it or not it stands we must practically what is it? practically I don't mean we are pleasing to him as spiritual as a spiritual pleasing we are pleased we are, we are pleasing to the father we are made righteous how? By believing. I hope you know that your salvation is a reality in Christ. Not just your own salvation, but the salvation of the unbeliever. All men are saved. But not all men are coming to the reality of it. That's why we go in to preach the gospel. Without faith, you know, you're not preaching that Christ will forgive you. You are preaching forgiveness of sins. Oh, God, help me. He died. He shed his blood. You get what I'm saying? So, he's not going to die again for those who are walking on the streets. He already, he already died. He saved the world. But as many as believe, as many as believe. So even though he died for you, the provision of salvation has been provided, you cannot come into it without faith. Ah, yes, Somebody hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You can't come into it without faith. And faith here is not what you have. Faith is what is given. The good news is the good news of what is already done. So when you believe, you enter into it. So the substance is the salvation that, that is, not shall be, that is. So you don't say. So when you now carry that substance to the unbeliever, they hear. And the unbeliever does not have the capacity, the capacity to, the, does not have the capacity to believe. Hmm. Uh, the unbeliever does not have the capacity to believe what you're saying. It is the content of what you are saying that makes him believe. Do we understand? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Do we understand? Yes. If you like, preach the gospel to an unbeliever from now to tomorrow. If it doesn't carry the spirit and power of Christ, if it doesn't carry life, it will be like Bible story. The Bible does not save. Okay, how many of you have gotten a math teacher that taught math? 
to the one you hated math. They now came and changed the, the teacher. They not taught the math, and you got you were now interested in math. Now, is it not the same thing that they were teaching? Eh? But the other one has the spirit to teach. It's not about skill. The other one has the spirit to teach. So you could sit down and even enjoy the math. You are you are motivated to learn the practice it. To go and go back home. You that that you know you know you're, you're interested in the math. But the other person just appearing in the class, you're oh, then do something else. You sure you're looking for one excuse and then you go out. I'm not going to school. Say about this school in, in particular. And so have you observed that there's a course in your in, in your university that there's one man that teaches one body. You, you don't like the man, you don't like the course. <laughs> Hello? Hi. But if they give that same course to someone else, someone who loves teaching and who loves who loves students, the, the, the students, eh? you see that he teaches, he will lecture with love. It's the way you go about it and then you are in that course, you will enjoy it. In the same way. Salvation is not in good speaking, it's in spirit. And when we go to the street, we shout, 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 and then we come up, we, 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 we are only fulfilled that we gave the announcement. Nobody was saved. And funny enough, we are not concerned about it. We are only satisfied that I am obeying. I am obeying. You obeyed, then you went and preached. That's all. Yes, what you did was a good thing. Oh my God, but there is a joy when someone is saved. I don't know if you should get that joy. When you preach and someone comes and surrenders to Christ, there is this joy that bubbles from the inside. Hallelujah. Now that's a function of what? The spirit. Not just what you are saying. And like there's more to preach, like you said, there's more to preaching than what is being said. And we all know that, right? So
also pleases the Father. Imagine going to school, eh? Pleases your father, right? You now went on a road. So having a, a road, you were feeling yourself. Is the father pleased? The Lord is a, is the father pleased? So it's pleasing that you are that you are okay. The father's um, um, you are in the army. Oh, your father went, went. I've been looking for a son who will be in the army. Wow! Now you are in the army. You are two star. Three months after you were dishonorably discharged or let's call it yeah, or dismissed. Is the father happy? You are bringing disgrace. Eh? He's not pleased. Hey, hey, hello, hello, hello. It is empty. We have received the gospel. We are one with the Father. However, we need to walk in what we have received. Yes, sir. I know we go to Him justified. But there's another going to Him justified. Jesus said, Take out what Jesus said. I know that you hear me always. The prince of this world has come and has found nothing. He wasn't saying that because of the grace of the Father. <laughs> he wasn't saying that because, oh, the grace of God. He said that because he had abided by the will and kindness of the Father. He was walking in the Father. He was walking in the Spirit. Said the work that I do is not me that I do it, it is the Father that works in me. So he had a constant, a constant union and abiding in the will of God. He said, My meat is to do the will of the Father and to finish it. So he this essence of uh, uh, what's it? He 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 disengaged himself from self and aligned with the will of God. To a point that he said, I'm not the one who did it. He said that the father who delivered me, he do make the work. For 
He that cometh unto him. What's the faith? He, he is. Hello, hello. No, you can't come back and say. For he is a rewarder. No, no, no. No, be that he is. You have seen the word he is there? Eh? And the word he is a rewarder. Oh my God. In other words, when you say that, God is the reward. Hello? God is what? God is the reward to everyone that works with him. He that cometh to God must be that he rewards him with himself. So the reward of the believer is God. And he rewards them who diligently seek him. Hello? Hello? No, no one said, can they be a sick God? Because we have already found him. Hello? When you say scriptures, when you investigate scriptures, you are seeking him. He is the word. He is the light. Yes, sir. So when you investigate the scriptures, when you look, you are seeking him. You want to know. You want to see. Eh? So those that seek him, he rewards them with the revelation. So we don't say. Yes, so yes, believe are seeking. spending time in prayer you were uniting with the father you were having fellowship because fellowship is a, is, is a place of unity the place of bonding where you share you are sharing is the word called koinonia you fellowship with him in prayers and in the world when he speaks to you you are becoming one the bond is becoming strong that's seeking the father not that God is, is has, has disappeared. You know, it is you setting time to have fellowship with Him. It's so many things I'm saying. Yes, Seeking God was a terminology. Not for the Jews were not looking for God. They had the temple. They know where to find God. Uh, I'm so many here. What's yes, They had the temple. So either they want they want to talk to God or they want to go to the temple, and God was there. No, God was, God was there. Or if God was not in the temple, then what left the temple when Jesus died? So we know that God is everywhere, was everywhere, right? But yet he was in the temple. His manifest presence was there. So what happens to God? You know, we know that we are carrying believer, if you are carrying God back, your closet, when you devote time to look inward, because God is inside of you and can be made manifest outside. So that time invested in study and in prayers is the time to seek him. But he said, they that seek him diligently, not just seeking him. If we are diligent in the search for God, he will reward us with himself. So Enoch must have been diligent in his search. We don't know how the story of Abel could have been because he was cut short by Cain. But he not searched him. Searched him until he was not. If we search him, we shall be rewarded with him. Your reward is not first in the kind of thing. Your reward is God. The Levites had their reward. Their inheritance was God. These were people who were entrusted with the ordinances of the temple. These were people who were always in search of God. Every man that seeks him will find him. He's not rewarded.
surrounding you with power. There is something mightier than power. Yes, sir. That's God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is something mightier than finances, yes, that, brand, yes, that prosperity, yes, and that's God. That's God told Abraham, he said, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. reward. So he was the reward for Abraham. So Abraham knew, and what Abraham had to do was to align with him. Irrespective of the fact that he had no son, he knew that God was his reward. When you have God, it won't be a function of faith anymore. It will be a function of him operating in his own frequency. Allah does kapara das Allah does You know, something is more is higher than is something higher than faith. Knowledge. Not awareness. Experience. Not awareness. You know when you have faith, eh, you must still trust. Yes, sir. Ah. No, did the Jews have faith in the time of Jesus that Jesus was in, <laughs> that Jesus was coming? No, listen to me. Listen, 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 listen. Did somebody hear me? When Jesus was there on the cross, did they have faith that he was there on the cross? He was the reality. When you have it, eh? You don't know. You don't, you had faith to have it, right? Yes, sir. Now that you have it, the having it itself is your faith. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. However, so now you don't need to have faith again. You have it. Yes, Do yes, so you have faith that this seat, when you sit down, it will not, it will, it, it, it will break when you already sat on it. Mama, you sit down with it, but uh, you have to sit down on the chair now. Mm. Are you still having faith that the chair will hold you? You know it's holding you. Is it not so? Yes, when you have God, you will not be having faith for God. Uh. You know you have him. Yes, so knowledge supersedes faith. Yes, However, not awareness. Experiential knowledge. knowledge. When you have now become one with what you know. God. There is a realm you operate, and you know that any there is no sick person you lay your hands on, and the person will not be him. Will not be him. It's not a function of you having it. It's you by experience you've come to know. Yes, sir. annoying. You know when a doctor is arguing with you, he's not arguing with you based on what he was taught. They are arguing by proof and fact. You know what I'm saying? Yes, when the scientist is telling you. That if you add blue to yellow, no, if you add green to yellow, you have, no, if you add blue to yellow, you have green, right? These are the primary colors, right? I, I, I still believe my memory is sharp. If you add blue to yellow, you have green, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay, now. If I come and tell you, it's a lie. If you add green to yellow, you have white. If you have blue to yellow, you have white. Will you believe it? Eh? Yes. Why are you arguing that? It's because by experience, you know that blue plus yellow is equal to green. Or white and red is equal to pink. So you can argue all you, but you have come to know. Is it, is it not so? You can argue if you're a child. Because only children are happy that. So there's a realm you grow in Christ, and you just know. Most of us here, when you are writing exam, you are writing because that's what you that you've been told. Is it not so? So you write what you've been told, so that you pass exam. But when you advance, you come to know that. You, you now understand what you've been taught. You're 
that you understand. And somebody will say, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You understand it now. When you were, that's what I'm saying, that you were, know, one plus one, two, two plus two, four, right? Yes, now, they are putting in, they are telling you back what you are saying. But when they enter, nursery one, no, sorry, my one, from my two, it might not be even be in class, on the road, or somewhere. They will now know that if you add what the reality of it now dawns on them. So, so it is the reality before they are operating on pay. My teacher said one point is what the two, so they can argue it. No, it is not, it is true. One point is what the two. You can sign them, you can be angry. No, my teacher said, my daddy said, my mommy said, but when they enter a certain level, and what was taught in years past now becomes a reality to a reality to them. That's how it is. You see, a time will come that you walk with the Father. You don't, okay, when Christ now comes, are we still walking in faith? When Christ is now revealed, do you see anything? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's stand to our feet. Substance. When Christ is revealed, we will now be walking in the substance of glory. You hear what I'm saying? We will now be walking in the substance of glory. At that point, you will not be trusting God for glory because you already have the glory. You will not be believing God for the glory because you already have the glory. So you will not be having faith for the glory. Eh? Brother, the faith you will be operating on is the faith that you had, the revelation of the faith that you had. So as now, we are looking at the, the image of Christ. We are beholding the glory. So that glory that we are beholding is what we are walking in towards. If we walk in Christ, glory shall be attained. And we walk in Christ by the Spirit. By the Spirit. Enoch walked with God until he was not. We need to walk with him until glory is attained. The Father is hungry for men that will reveal him. Lord, make me a man that will reveal you. Jesus, the scripture says, is the substance of the Father. The Father is in search for substance. We want to become the substance of Him. Ah, let me just say this before we close. The Bible says Jesus is the express image. Amen? The direct imprint of his person. The word person is the word who possesses. The word possesses the word substance. Yes, so when we behold him, we become. We become the image of his person. So that means we are gradually turning into the person of God. So when we walk in Christ, who is the person of God, we transform ourselves into that same person. So it is living on us to walk in Him. How are we going to please God? By walking in Him. I know we have pleased God by coming into Him. However, there's another level of pleasing God by walking in Him. It's not enough for us to die and make heaven. There is a higher call to relate, to translate him on the earth. Oh, is someone hearing me? It's a higher call to walk in glory. It's a higher call to reveal him to men. That can only be done if you walk in him. As ye have therefore received Jesus Christ Jesus, so walk ye in him. Rooted and grounded and established in the faith. As ye have been taught, abounding daily with thanksgiving. So the essence of teaching and 
And preaching is for us to abide. It's for us to abound. It's for us to walk in Him. So we are called to walk in Him. Lord, make me a faithful walker in You. Lift up your voice and pray. I want to walk in you. Make me a faithful priest in our walk with you. Hallelujah. Amen. 